first off you want to do is um, prime your lids and I'm just using Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Um, I actually just got this for my kit but um, it's the first thing I saw. I don't plan on wearing this look out so um, I'm not using my Urban Decay Primer Potion. After that you want to take a piece of tape and you could just use a regular transparent tape about an inch long and just like on this side see how um, it's angled out a little bit farther I extend my eyebrow just a little bit I'm gonna do the same on this side so I'm gonna place it like right under my lower lashes and make sure it's extended far enough that's good so now that you have that tape on, I'm going to apply NYX's Jumbo Pencil in Milk. My camera keeps unfocusing, I'm sorry. So just apply that right under your brow bone and then blend that out with your finger. And you also want to put that in the inner corner of your eyes. And same thing, just blend it out with your finger. So now that looks really, really awkward. I am going to take um, a fluffy blending brush. This is Max 224. I'm going to pick up um, a gray eyeshadow, and I'm using this color, well, two colors from the Coastal Scents Warm Palette. I'm using these two colors right here. They're both um, uh, gray colors. One's a little bit more shimmery than the other, and so I'm just going to put that in my crease. It's probably the first time you're ever going to see me work on my crease first, before my lid. <laughs> just trying out something new, and it seems like it's working. So you just want to apply um, a gray eyeshadow. The less shimmer the better, but um, I'm just using what I have right now. I'm going to pick up a little bit of this eyeshadow from the Alice in Wonderland Book of Shadows. It's called Curiouser. This one right here. It's a little more metallic, grayish silver. And I just want a little bit of that in there just to intensify. Um, the gray a little bit. Now with a pencil brush, this is Max um, 219, I'm going to pick up a black eyeshadow and I'm actually just going to use Jabberwocky from the Alice in Wonderland uh, Book of Shadows. So I'm just going to dab that in there and if you notice this side, you see it kind of comes out like in a wing kind of shape. So I'm going to start at right at the edge like right on tape. And I'm just going to gradually, you know, pick up more eyeshadow and start off on the outer corner all the time. So you should have something like this. I know, looks a little weird. Plus, um, my camera is really, really bleh right now, so it's not really showing up the way it really looks. But for um, for our lid, we're, we're going to apply a little bit of a base first, and I'm just going to use um, a Coastal Scents gel liner, and I'm going to apply it with a regular pencil eyeliner. So I'm just going to apply that all over my lid. Don't worry, it doesn't have to be like especially neat. This is just going to be a base. So what I'm just doing is just smudging um, that base out. I'm not really tugging on my eyelid, I'm just softly um, blending it out. So now it just looks really, really weird. <laughs> now with a flat shader brush, I'm picking up Underland from the same book of shadows. It's um, a nice, vibrant purple. I'm just going to apply that all over. 
cat face. And I'm also going to pick up a little bit of romping eyeshadow from the Two Dolly Hello Kitty um, quad. Just want a little bit of pink in there. So I'm just going to layer that on there. So I'm just going to go back and work on my crease because that does not look cute. I'm just going to take my pencil brush again. I'm just going to keep working at this. To help with blending that crease, I'm going to apply my highlight right now and I'm just going to use a really um, matte, uh, almost off-white eyeshadow and I'm using this color in the warm um, 88 palette. Impulsive Sense. I'm just going to pick that up. And it's going to go on really, really matte. So I'm just going to pat that on right under my brows. And just bring that down a little bit. So now I'm just going to take off that tape. And it should look something like that. It's definitely coming together now. Um, so now I'm just going to work on my lower lash line and it's fairly simple. I'm going to use Vorpal eyeshadow. That's that gray one, that grayish silver. I'm going to pick that up and apply that on my lower lash line. And then in the outer corner, I'm just going to pick up Jabberwocky, and that's the black glittery um, eyeshadow in the palette. And then for my inner corner, I'm going to apply that same highlight color that I applied on my brow. I'm just going to pick that up, and I'm just using a regular e.l.f. Um, blending brush. You just want to blend that in there. Bring it up if you like. I'm actually going to add another color. But that's just there to um, brighten up the eyes a little bit. And then right in this area over here, I don't know if you could see it on camera, um, it's a little bit green. And I'm going to pick up Max Bitter Eyeshadow, and it's just a really pretty lime green eyeshadow. And I'm just going to swirl that same brush in there, and then I'm going to apply that right there. And I'm just going to blend that in. So it's just a hint of color in the inner corner. So I'm just blending that in going to apply my lashes, fill in my brows, and I'll show you what's on the rest of my face. Okay, so I finished everything off. Um, I forgot to mention that I applied Jessie's Girls Sparkle Red Pigment, and I just applied that on my lid just to give it a little bit more of a pink tone with the purple. Applied false lashes, eyeliner for my cheeks. I'm wearing Azalea Blossom from MAC, and it's that blush. Bleh blush ombre from their spring color forecast collection for my lips i lined my lips with um, magenta lip liner from mac for my lipstick i used max show orchid pretty color and topped it off with max light venus dazzle glass and so that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoy this tutorial um, I know it looked a little messy at some points, but it all came together. And um, so till next time, guys, I hope you guys have a great week. Bye.